So I got some new turkeys today for Hiddenwell Farms, and one of the hens, whom I don't know the name of yet, but she's awful pretty, and she's called a blended, I think. Um, but we'll figure out what her name is as we go along. She's awful pretty. She's a beautiful turkey. She's got a broken wing. And so I'm going to take you along on this journey as we knock her out, I'm going to x-ray it, we're going to reset it, I'm going to bandage it, we're going to put her under anesthesia, and then uh, once we get her all set up, um, we'll, uh, we'll share that with you. Okay, so let's go. We're using isofluorine anesthesia. I'm just going to mask her down because I guarantee you that um, setting any kind of broken bone is going to be painful. I need to put that uh, wing back in place best I can here. Okay. Mary, I'm breathing this way. Will you put on your uh, x ray equipment? Your gown and stuff, real quick. his fingers beside her head because the hole is round and her neck is shaped like that so he's trying to block the gas in there or we're all going to start laughing when she does that when she falls over. Okay. Okay. Your room, please. Holes, and I don't think it would fit over it. Mm, that's true. You don't have a dog shaped face. Two inch elastic or the white. 
this joint is. Here's your fracture where it's out of place. And here's where I put it back in place, the dislocation and the fracture, and I bandaged the wing right through here. Okay? And we'll let that set for about two weeks, maybe three. And it should heal up really, really well. So no more turkey fracture, okay? Alright, good deal. <laughs> Turn around, look at Mary. Time, Kroger Pharmacy in Corbin, off of uh, Mary. There you go. Come look at the closest time. Okay. So my turkeys have been pretty much cooped up for quite a while. But we're getting ready to turn them out into the rabbit pens, okay? Here you are, turkeys. Here you are. You get to walk around a little bit now. Now these are our rabbit pens, of course. You've seen hoplo rabbitry quite a bit. And from what I understand, turkeys and rabbits get along really, really well together. So this is absolutely secure. And there's no way that they can be attacked or eaten in here. And so that they can kind of get used to things um we've moved them in here for a little while and we'll see how they do and the one that we reset the um wing on is doing really really well there was a there was a fracture i want to make very clear there was a small fracture there but it was mostly just dislocated and so i may uh i may have spoke in my excitement a little bit incorrectly about what was going on but she's already using that to wing a lot better this evening and since there was just mostly a dislocation i'll probably just keep it isolated for a week or so and then take that tape off and we'll see how she does okay but she's very pretty very pretty they're all three very pretty They cleared every rabbit out of here. <laughs> Except you. <laughs> You're thinking about it. Threw a little grain out for them and it didn't take them very long to figure out, hey, I'm hungry. Fraggle Rock finally had her babies today. So I got um, my third set of spring babies, and they were twins. Let me show those to you right now. And we're going to see how much they weigh. I've got this handy dandy little thingy duty here. And uh, turn it on, see how much it weighs. Weighs 0.45 pounds. Okay.
8.85 minus 0.45 be 8.35. So 8.35. Here, it'll be that much. And 7.85. So you're a pound lighter. So 8.35 and 7.35 respectively. Yeah, they, look at my baby boy there. They high. Bah. <laughs> you look like bandit. Susan sent me a whole list of different names I could name them, but I'm not quite sure what to name them yet. Still working on that. It's been such a busy day. But the biggest one is standing behind Mama is 7.45 pounds, and the one in front is, I'm sorry, the biggest one is 8.35 pounds, and the smallest one in front is 7.35 pounds. There's a pound difference between them.